Hi guys, I have seen many posts and questions about what exactly is Canvas or not really understanding the structure of it. So I am going to take a lesson that I had here at home in my sub tub that I would normally use as a sub lesson. Um, and I will use that and show how I can take this hard copy lesson and actually turn it into something in Canvas. So I want you to start by imagining that this blue folder is my Canvas course. I'll set that over here for now and we'll come back to that later. Um, for my normal lesson, I would have instructions for my students. This is sort of my own instructions, so I would probably give them verbally, but you can see these are my instructions for my students. I would also normally be reading aloud this story to them in person. After reading the story, I often show them another uh, YouTube story about a goose that we talk about as well. And then I um, have this step-by-step -step guide that I would normally have printed out and on the tables for them to look at. And then I also have some inspiration illustration handouts that would normally be sitting on their table as well for them to look through to get inspiration. So those are the things that I would normally have had hard copy in person with my students. And then the very last thing that I also have is a list of library books that are also about geese that they could look at. So here you can see these are sort of my hard copy pieces. Um, so those are all the different components of my lesson. And then this folder is what I use to organize them in my sub tub. So I've got my kind of petunia picture and then um, the actual folder. So now I want you to imagine that in Canvas, this is the module. So I've got that blue folder that's my course and then I've got this folder that is my module. So inside that module, I am now going to organize my instructions for my students a video of me reading this book to my students. Imagine that YouTube video I would also show. The step-by-step -step guide that would normally be printed for them. And then those inspiration illustrations. So now I have put all of those into my folder, AKA module. And then that module is inside my Canvas course. And then if I had, let's say, another module that I was also doing, I'd have all the components of that lesson in the module, and then that can also go into my Canvas course. So now I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna take a look at what that actually looks like in Canvas. So let me share my screen. Here we go. So this is the Canvas course I set up. Right now I have it set up where when they click on this button, it's gonna take them to the very first page of the module. Um, I'll show you kind of what it looks like in module view in just a second. Um, but you can obviously set up your course a million different ways, the days of the week buttons or however you wanna do that. But just to simplify things for this tutorial, when they click this button, it takes them to that very first page. And if you remember, the very first thing that I put in my module were instructions. So that's these instructions, but a little bit more kid friendly. So I've used these emojis to kind of help them. Um, I could also add an audio recording in here if I wanted. I just didn't do that on this page. Um, but this kind of goes through what's expected of them for this lesson or this module. So it starts with these instructions. Then the next thing is, when they click on the next page, it's going to take them to a page. So I use this as a page and I embedded that video. And that is a video of me actually reading this story. So just a page with a video embedded. And then when they click next, that is that YouTube video that I would have normally shown in person, like on my smart board or on my projector. Um, but here they're able to watch it right here in Canvas. And again, this is just a page with a YouTube video embedded. And then when they click next, and the nice part about that is no ads or anything when it's embedded right into Canvas. And then here, I actually um, embedded this um, image for them to be able to look at. So I'm asking them to kind of look over the step-by-step -step, and then what do they notice and what do they wonder? And then when they click the next button, you'll see that that has the handout um, for these illustrations for inspiration from the book. Now, I could even turn this, I'm asking them what they noticed again on this one. So if I wanted to, I could turn it into a discussion. So I basically took that same information from that last page and I put it into a discussion instead. And I normally try to provide my students like a little link, like not sure how to post. This would just be kind of a quick little how-to video and how to post in a discussion until they're used to it. Um, but now this has become something that they can actually reply to and tell me what they noticed instead of it just being kind of one way. Now all of a sudden it's a two way adding that as a discussion. And then when they click next, the final thing is their actual assignment. Um, so here I did include audio so they could press play and actually listen to me reading this to them. 
Um, I've included a link back to that step-by-step. -step. It opens in a new window, which is super nice. So now they can kind of toggle back and forth to be able to look at that step-by-step as they begin their assignment. And their assignment then is to practice drawing a goose, then draw the final, add their details, use Sharpie, add color. And then of course the last thing, which again makes this um, work, Canvas is so awesome, is now they can take a picture of that and actually submit it back to me as their assignment. Um, and all of this is online, <laughs> which is nice. Um, so then the last piece when they click next is I like to put a, oh, sorry, this is the last, I have two more things. Um, this one is a grow your brain. So I talked about how normally I would talk about, oh, these are the other books that you could check out from the library. So now I've kind of included this kind of extension or um, other pieces you might want to add in. Maybe it's not books, maybe it's a website they could visit or something else, um, but just in another little grow your brain. And then the very last thing that I include in the module is a stop button. So great job, you're done for today. And then this button would take them back home. Uh, so again, those are kind of all the components that I showed you in person and are now being put online. Obviously, if um, I was teaching in person the whole time, I would use Canvas completely differently, but this is thinking about how we can take what we normally do in person and put it online. Um, so let me show you real quickly just kind of that module structure. So you're actually looking at it as I planned it. So um, this is my Petunia Goose lesson module. And then I've got those instructions, which is again, just a page, that video of me reading a page, uh, the YouTube embedded on a page, uh, the how-to drawings, again, a page. You could then use those illustrations either on a page or you can make it a little more interactive and turn it into a discussion. And then obviously we've got that assignment where they're actually gonna submit something back. And I always try to use that green check mark to let my students know that that's something they're gonna be submitting, um, where the other ones are a little bit more just informative. Um, this one is like, yes, you are going to actually be submitting something back to me. Um, and then of course I've got that stop button at the very end of the module because if you don't have that stop button and you have another module, you'll see when they click next, it takes them right into another module. So that's just kind of my suggestion is to add that stop page at the end. So hopefully this helps you see how you can take what you may have done in person and also gives you a little bit more of an idea of the structure of Canvas and how you can use the different elements of Canvas to be able to convey that information to your students. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.